Hello there, welcome back to my YouTube channel for another uh, Linux related video today. So something I saw recently that popped up on my LinkedIn feed and which I thought looked interesting was somebody talking about, a writer talking about voice recognition software and how good and effective that was. And certainly as a writer, um, I do quite a bit of writing every day. Um, I had looked at it before and I know there is a leading tool in Windows, but um, my impression was always that this was just one of those things that doesn't work all that well in Linux. Um, I can't remember the last time I tried, but to do a quick refresh, I did find a Reddit thread talking about voice to text software for Linux, and I'm looking for specifically for Ubuntu. And the there are a couple of uh, tools, looks like there's a Firefox add-on. I'm gonna be going through those in future videos, but the most common recommendation and one that would actually work really well for me, uh, because I do a lot of drafting work in Google Docs, was to just use this built-in feature so I decided I am going to do a test run here in my Google Docs and I'm just gonna see how this works and to point out the obvious I do have an accent I, I'm not sure if the Irish accent is, is that considered an ethnic accent but in any event I'm going to see how well it does with my voice my accent and I'm going to be just loading up some text uh, test text in order to see how well it does so in order to get the uh, voice typing activated, now this is, I'm currently using Ubuntu 2010, so that's the latest release of Ubuntu, um, but it's the same, it works the same cross-platform, however you're accessing Google Docs, and under uh, file over here, you have, sorry, under tools, there is a button here for voice typing, and the control, if you want to just get it up quickly from your keyboard, is control, shift, S. Once you click on that, you get this little uh, kind of floating window over here, and then you can begin speaking. So what I'm gonna do, I've just dragged that Reddit thread over here, and I'm just going to try read this comment at a kind of regular talking speed, and then see how that goes. So I'm gonna go ahead now and click on the speak, uh, the microphone icon, and after I do that, I'm just gonna read uh, this comment through and see how well it handles it. I'm just gonna then click in here to make sure um, everything works so I might move this off to my other screen so let's just give this a go right now no I need to go in here okay right now right now your best bet on Linux is to install KDE connect and use it in conjunction with the swipe keyboard on Android Swipe uses Dragon Natural Speaking Backend. Basically, you input your speech on your computer microphone, KDE Connect sends it to your phone, where Swipe converts it to text with the help of Dragon Natural Speaking, then returns the results to your computer via KDE Connect. Yes, it's a bit convoluted, but if you find a better solution, please let me know. Return paragraph. That does seem a bit convoluted, but if it works, it works. Is the swipe part necessary? That app appears to cost a few dollars. Okay, so that seems to work fairly well. So I'm just gonna bring this guy over so we can compare and contrast how that uh, reading. So uh, right now your best bet, yeah, I didn't get anything. Right now your best bet on Linux is to install, I'm just gonna bring this guy down here. KDE Connect and use it in conjunction with the swipe keyboard on Android. Uh, so this is interesting. Here it's gotten swipe as in the um, actual brand name, and then it's got, then it's kind of just used swipe as in the spelling. So that's interesting. Dragon um, swipe uses Dragon Natural Speaking backend. Basically, you input your speech on your computer microphone. Um, KDE Connect, this should be sends it to your phone, where Swipe, uh, and this should say converts it, it to text with the help of Dragon naturally speaking, then uh, returns the results to your computer via KDE Connect. Yes, yes, it's a bit convoluted, uh, but if you find a better solution, please let me know. Now, I haven't even looked at the, um, so I thought return paragraph might sort of do, I'm sure there are voice commands. Um, so let's just get this last bit. Uh, that does seem a bit convoluted, but if it works, it works. Is the swipe, uh, this should say part necessary. 
um, that app appears to cost a few dollars. So overall, I would say the uh, quality of the automatic um, speech to text transcription going on here is quite good. And uh, it's definitely given me some, uh, I'm going to be exploring this and looking at what those commands are. And I think I'm going to give it a go for the next article I have to write and see if it could work. But basically, um, using Google Voice typing on Ubuntu Linux seems to work pretty good. The quality of the transcription is not 100% in terms of, sorry, the quality of the voice recognition. But it looks to me as if it's good enough to use and to maybe save a bit of time speaking out your draft and then going ahead and editing it using conventional means. Hope this video has been interesting. Feel free to reach out at any time through my website, danielrosel.co.il. Looking forward to bringing another video out soon.